In this example, we're given two shells. We got the smaller shell here with this little radius as a positive density uh, over here. And then over here, this bigger shell um, with the bigger radius has a negative density. And we're asked to figure out where is the electric field equal to zero along this x-axis. And so um, what that's really trying to say is, okay, well, if these are going to be a charge, this is going to be a negative one. It's going to be emitting an electrical field where the arrows are pointing inwards to it. And this one is a positive charge, so the arrows will be pointing out of it, right? And so we're trying to figure out which zone here or here or here is the electric field. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, let's compare these numbers. This looks like a bigger charge, so it's going to probably be a positive bigger charge there and a smaller negative charge over here, right? But we don't want to be comparing the densities. We want to be comparing the charges. So we actually want to be comparing Q. Well, Q is going to be equal to the density times the area. And in this case, uh, the Q would be equal to uh, 3.5 e to the negative 6 times the area of the um, shell, which is 4 pi r squared. And the r in this case is going to be 0 0.005, okay, that's squared. Now on this side, the Q is going to be equal to uh, this thing, which is negative 2 e to negative 6, and then times 4 pi, uh, 0 0.015 squared. All right, and now we can start comparing these Qs to each other. So on the left side, we'll get 3.5 e to negative 6 times 4 pi times 5. Okay, great. So on this side, we get a Q of 1.1 e to negative 9. And then on this side, we'll get a Q of, change these numbers around, and we would get uh, negative 5.655 or something like that, e to negative 9. So you can see how this is actually a very large negative charge, and that's a kind of a small positive charge. That kind of changes our perspective a little bit. Okay, so this is the key at first. First, we got to figure out what the charges are, and now we can compare to see where they would be. Well, let's start over here. So let's imagine that this is now going to be uh, pointing in this direction very much um, because it's right next to this. And on this side, we would get a very, very small positive charge from there. Um, that's that's going to equal to not zero. So it can't be over here. Now, on this side, we're going to get a very large arrow pointing that direction and then actually a smaller arrow pointing in that direction it's going to be positive in here so that's not the right area either and so over here well in here we're going to get a reasonable arrow pointing that direction and also a reasonable arrow pointing in that direction that's going to be where things are going to equal zero so now we know we're going to get a negative x somewhere around over here Okay, great. So now we can start returning to our equations for E. E is going to be equal to KQ over R squared. This is true for both situations. However, um, this R squared is not the radius. It's actually the distance um, from, from here to, from, from the point to that. All right, let's plug in these values. We're going to have Q is going to be, um, we'll, we'll have a K and then a 3.5 e to the negative 6 times a 4 pi. And then this thing here, we'll divide that by, this is just going to be X squared. And on this side, uh, we're going to go 3, uh, sorry, 2. This is a magnitude, so... We don't care about positives or negatives in this case. We just want to know the magnitude. And so we'll get that. 4 pi um, here. And this is going to be over um, the bottom here. We're just going to get uh, 0.07. And we'll, we'll add in this x here. Um, but we need to be really careful because uh, in the end, we're going to get a couple of answers. And we just want to make sure that we plug in both negatives just to see which one might be correct. Okay, so let's just continue with this problem. So uh, once we start deleting these, we'll set these two equal to each other, of course, we'll cancel those out. Um, we can actually start getting some solutions here. Um, we'll set x squared times 2 e to negative 6 and then 0 0.015 squared. This is going to be equal to uh, x plus 0 0.7 squared times 3.5 e to the negative 6 
and then four pi. Actually, that's going away. Um, zero point zero zero five squared. Okay, great. Uh, we can divide um, this by three point five e to the negative six, and then square that, getting rid of this. So we're left with. Uh, this stuff when we plug it in, it'll actually become um, 36 over 7x squared, and then that's equal to x plus, or x squared plus uh, 0.14, and then x plus 0 0.0049, and then we're going to uh, go 0 equals negative um, 27, I believe. Um, I'll do that on the calculator. This is 1 minus 36 over 7. So it's 29 over 7. 29 over 7x squared plus 0.14x plus 0.049. And now let's see what our calculator gives us as far as answers. Um, we we'll use the little formula thing we have here for the equation. 3... We need to go negative 29 over 7, and then 0 0.14, 0 0.009. Okay, so we get some answers. Now I'm going to put this in both of them as negatives. I'm going to test both of them. So x equals negative 0 0.055, and then the other one is... Uh, negative 0.0214. So I'm going to try both of these numbers. We're going to see which one is the correct negative number. So we'll try the first uh, first one here. Um, we plug that back into our equations of E equals KQ over R squared. Uh, in the first one, the Q, we'll just go easy one. So 1.1 1 .1 E to the negative 9 times uh, K, divide that by, uh, this one is going to be 0 0.0214, and um, we'll see if that is the correct answer there, because we want that to be equal to negative 5.655 e to the negative 9, here's the K, over... Um, here, we're going to put 0.07 plus 0 0.0214. We're just going to see if this is correct. Do the, does this negative charge equal that? Does this positive charge equal that negative charge? Um, let's see. So 1.1 1 .1 e to the negative 9 times 9 e to the 9. Divide that by point. Uh, and this is supposed to be squared, so point, um, don't forget the square of this, 214 over 214 squared. This is uh, positive 2, um, oh my gosh. This is going to be 21,617.6, and then on this side, we're comparing it to this. That is going to be um, negative uh, 5.65. Then we've got this whole thing divided by... 7 plus 214. And I'm going to square that whole thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, this is negative 630. That's not the same. So let's try the other answer. Negative point. Five five. So we're gonna add in five five. In this one instead, this gives us a negative three two fifty on that side, 
and on this side. We're gonna get 1.1. This is a positive 3272. Wow, that's actually really, really close to zero. So I'm gonna assume that this is the correct answer. Oh my gosh, after all that, we finally got it. Um, Yeah, this is a really, really frustrating uh, answer because I didn't really get that I was gonna wanna try both of these answers. That's the key, is actually trying both of your answers that you would assume, regardless of what form, what signs you get, because sometimes you'll mess up the signs. So just try both answers if you kind of have an idea of what that might be.